Hello, I got my hands on the new Valentine's box for Valentine's Day 2024 from Unearthly. This is the Charmer box, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't actually say, so we're gonna hope that I'm right. Otherwise, I'm giving you misinformation. Just trust the title of this video. But we're gonna be opening this up. I'm gonna be trying it out. I'm gonna share my feelings about it with you. So let's get into it. All right, so the box is like super cool. Like the lightning and just the whole vibe of this is very like dark Valentine, like a little bit anti-Valentine. And I actually really like that vibe. It's a pretty big box. Um, I did secretly watch some videos um, just to see what was in here because I did want a little bit of information. I did buy it before the brand had actually shown the packaging and the actual um, and the actual colors, like the inside of the products, the products themselves. So I kind of blind bought it, but then I was just so curious. I just, I couldn't help myself and I just, I watched two videos, I think, but this is what the box looks like inside. Wait, I can do this. I can do this. Okay. This is what the box looks like from inside. This all looks so so cool really love the vibe really love the packaging the reason that i basically blind bought this is because i really 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 loved the dreamer collection that they came out with and i really really loved the well not all of the valentine's box of last year was perfect for me but overall i really like the quality of that and I'm just getting really excited by Unearthly nowadays. So I just wanted to pick it up. I bought it from their site, but it's also coming to Monolith if you want to buy it from a European retailer. Uh, I want to grab things out of this, but it's a little it's a little hard. I don't know how people do it. Like people make it look really easy, but it's actually pretty hard to be an influencer. I mean, it's a tough job. Okay, Charmer palette. The outer box of this is just, it's so cool. It looks amazing. I cannot wait to play with this. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm gonna be surprised, but probably it's gonna look even better in real life than it does in any photos or videos. Like content doesn't do this stuff justice. All right, the outer packaging is the same as the box. It is just like this a very like smooth, shiny cardboard. And then, ooh, let's open it up. Huh. It's a little different, actually, than I was expecting from the photos and videos. It's very purple. It kind of depends on maybe how you turn it, but it is very purple. I was thinking it was gonna feel a little bit more jumbled. Um, but if you kind of, like, this whole part feels very purple, then we have some, I don't know, neutralish shades then we have kind of like hot pink and a hot pink matching shimmer and then we have a little bit of green here with this lure shade looks really cool kind of like mint to purpley pink that looks really really nice i have a feeling i'm really gonna like this palette um i like the color story better looking at it in real life i thought it was gonna feel a little bit more jumbled and a little bit more bright but i think it's gonna be pretty like neutral leaning color i think once i'm using this it's really gonna make a lot of sense to me okay and next thing is gonna be a makeup brush apparently by the way there are 12 products there should be 12 products here are there 12 products here or am i missing something one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or is there more in this? Let's see. So this is the packaging of the makeup brush. Oh yeah, there are more makeup brushes in here because we have some smaller brushes and some a big brush. So it's all just in one snug little packaging like this. All right, so we have the big brush. I believe this is the foundation brush. Uh, seems pretty dense, feels pretty soft. I really like the packaging of it, like the style, the design of this. Uh, you see Unearthly Cosmetics 801. I don't, I, I'm gonna try it on the face, we'll see. Don't know if I'm gonna try it in this video, but it feels pretty nice. Do you like having brushes in a box like this? 
I do have to say, even though I'm probably gonna really like these brushes and use them just in my routine, uh, I get a little bit more excited about other products, personally. It's just, it's just me. I'm not really a brush kind of person. The only brushes so far that I've been really excited about were the Laura Lee Los Angeles and Luna Beauty brush set from their collab and then the Cinch Beauty brushes. So we're gonna see if these can change my mind. So this is the Laura Lee Cosmetics UC85. This seems kind of like a smaller blending brush. It seems like a really nice size. Then this seems to be a highlighter brush. This is the a4, okay, A4. Looks like a nice enough size. Looks good, no complaints there. And then we have another small blending brush. This is the UC87, like a really small, kind of longer, more flimsy blending brush. Oh, we have another, we have another uh, box that has two products. I think this is the liquid eyeliner. So I've never tried the liquid eyeliners by Unearthly Cosmetics. Um, but I'm really excited too because these shades uh, look really, really promising. And this is the Immortal Liquid Eyeliner in Love Struck and in Tears. And I believe one of these is kind of a little bit lighter. This seems to be, I don't know, what is in here? Pink, gold, green. And then we have another one. The one in Tears is more like silvery blue. Also a little bit of green in there, also a little bit of purple, but the base of them seems really different. Here we have two lip products, here we have two lip products, and then we have the blush. Let's take out the blush. Looks kind of like a lip product. This is the blush in Nirvana, and it's kind of like a purpley blush, it seems. A purpley liquid blush. This is... Kind of like a toned down purple though. Um, if I didn't know what it was, I would definitely think this is a liquid lipstick. Kind of tempted to try it on the lips. I don't know what would happen then, but it's a beautiful shade. All right, the first lip product that I'm grabbing is the Charmer Lipstick in Bliss. Yeah, this is the same packaging as the blush. So that could get a little confusing um, if you store these together, but this is a kind of like cool toned brownish lipstick that looks really nice then we have a lip oil i've never tried the unearthly lip oils but i'm excited to do that this is the one in heartache let's see what this is oh it seems to be kind of like a very blue purple lip oil like very blue purple i think i'm just gonna apply this smells very sweet does make your lips look a little blue. It, you do really see that it is a purplish blue lip oil. It feels really nice. Very hydrating, very plush. It's kind of like this thicker layer in a lip oil that is what I like the most. I think I would really enjoy this one. I am just not sure if I would wear it like this. I don't know if it is my shade, just like this, just on its own. But it's interesting for sure. Then we have a lip gloss. This is a shade Admire. The other lipsticks I'm gonna swatch at the end. This is a also bluish purple. Seems to be a little bit more bright maybe. Also a very bluish purple lip product. We're gonna see what the difference is with the lip oil. They seem a little similar. Like maybe we didn't need both. And this is the Charmer Lip Gloss in Puppy Love. And this is going to be kind of like a duochromatic, very shimmery lip gloss, um, which looks amazing. But we're going to see if I like it on the lips. It's very, very shimmery. It is really like with a pink base and a blue shimmer and yellow shimmer and green shimmer. Like a lot is going on here. This looks really, really interesting. Can't wait to try that. Okay. We've unboxed everything. We're gonna get into the eye look. We're gonna try everything out. Maybe not all of the brushes, but we're gonna try out as much as possible. Let's hop into the look. All right, I've applied some eye primer. Let's take a look at this palette and at what I wanna do. I thought I was gonna go for kind of like the purplish blues, but I'm actually kind of thinking if I should do Kind of like Romancer and Crush with a little bit of Lure mix in there. I, 
I'm kind of feeling that. I'm kind of feeling doing the unexpected for me. So I think I'm going to go into crush first and then see what happens. These brushes do feel a little like synthetic. They feel very synthetic. Um, the spectrum from synthetic hair brushes that feel synthetic to synthetic hair brushes that feel like real hair, they are about here. So I'm just going to try this one out just to see if I... I like it. It might still work really well with the formula. You never know. You never ever know. That is very pigmented. Very kind of like strawberry pink, which is cool. I feel like these types of pinks, you always have to be a little careful that it doesn't become too blended out and then it looks like you have cried. I don't think this is working like badly. Like, this is working quite well with this brush. I think I'm gonna grab just a little bit of this Trist or Trist shade and just deepen up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just to see how I like that. That's pretty nice. That works well together. Just gonna take a clean brush to blend a little. That is stunning already. I really like how easy this is. Really, really nice. I'm just gonna keep it pretty basic. I'm gonna go into shade Romancer and I'm gonna apply that with a finger. Ooh, really nice. I love a strawberry pink. I was afraid that this section of the palette was gonna be a little bit too neon for me but I really like it. It kind of, it's not neutral, but it's more leaning a little berry almost, which I like better on me than neons. So far so good. I think it's time to dip into the shade Allure. And I think I'm just gonna grab that small brush and let's see if we can pick this up with the small brush. Hmm, I think I'm gonna use a finger, like, I don't think that that technique is really matching. So, the shade Lure looks really... Wow! That is impactful with a finger. I do have to say, maybe I took a little bit too much because it is emphasizing a little bit of texture, like it looks a little bit texture on the lids, but it's so stunning. That is really nice. Yeah, on this side, it looks a little better. I feel like I just, I went a little bit overboard. Gonna apply that shade in the inner corner as well. And I feel like we have another shade that really fits that purpose. So we're just gonna wrap it around. That is stunning. I'm gonna do a little bit on the lower lash line, a little bit of crush and a little bit of twist or triced and then i'm just gonna grab a little bit of the shade flame i'm gonna put that on the lower left line just to try it out just a bit just for fun i use a small brush it's pretty subtle and now i just want to grab something to use the green shade trickery as a little bit of a smoky shadow liner just just a hint of this. So I, I'm just really going for that kind of like green and red cherry theme here. I was not planning this. Like I put in the cherry earrings just because I thought, oh, that is fun. Matches my shirt. And now we're here. I think that's very cute. All right, I'm gonna put on some bronzer and then we can try the blush. I am so not used to using liners that I'm com completely forgetting them. Let's see if I can add a little detail with the... Oh wait, this is a silvery one. Add a little detail with the pinky kind of warmer one almost. How do, how do, how do I use this? How does this work? That is really liquidy and pigmented. Should I have thought of this before? What I wanted to do? Probably. But yeah, we have to try it. 
I actually think this looks really cute and I could do cute looks with this if I would remember to use it and not like edit to a look where I haven't really thought about how I'm gonna place it. But it looks very shiny, it's very liquidy, it's very pigmented. Kind of cool though. Okay, we're gonna apply the liquid blush and it has a doe foot like this, but I have a feeling I... I want to put this down, but I can't. This is a makeup packaging pet peeve of mine. I don't know if more people have this, but I enjoy being able to put my products down. I'm just gonna like grab it off the doe foot and apply it. That is a very cool shade. I hope it blends out well on my skin tone. I'm very fair right now, but I do love a purple blush. I have a feeling you don't want to like blend too much with this one. That's very pigmented though, but we're gonna, I'm gonna fix it with a little bit of something in a sec. Once again, it feels kind of like on the drier side to the touch, even though it's a very liquidy um, liquid blush. Mm. A little unsure about this one. I don't think this is like the easiest to apply. Maybe I should have gotten a little less. I don't know. It isn't like smoothing over the skin like so easily. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this finishing powder and I'm just gonna see if I clean that. I can clean it up a little bit. This is my new favorite thing to do. Things go south. I feel like that looks a lot better. I feel like now I quite like it. But it is an outer blush for sure. All right, we're just gonna leave it like this. I'm fine with not wearing highlighter right now. I'm gonna take off the lip oil and then go through the other lip products. All right, my lips feel pretty soft after using that. I'm gonna use the Admire lip gloss next so I can see what the difference is. Okay, this one is more fresh, not as like, gray and the other one made my lips look kind of gray this makes them look more blue it's a once again a little bit of an odd color a little bit harder to wear i feel like th this one for me is a little easier to wear than the lip oil i think with the right lip liner or the right lip look or the right thing underneath like you could make a more warm lip a little cooler with this because i Sometimes feel like a lip is a little too warm and then this could be a, little, a nice add-on to kind of like fix that. So, feels really nice. Nice and glossy. Very comfortable. This one doesn't have as strong of a scent, I feel, as the lip oil that was very, very like fruit-esque. I actually, I think I quite like this one. Maybe I even like it on its own. It's very fresh. Maybe with a certain look for like spring. All right, it is time for the shimmery gloss, the puppy love one. And this one I'm really excited about. Very sparkly purpley. I was expecting this one actually to be a bit less wearable, but I can actually see myself wearing this. Once again with the right look. I do feel the shimmer on the lip. Like it is noticeable, the shimmer. But I do really like how this looks. It looks very juicy. It is kind of like bluish purpley, lilac y, but I feel like it's not too much. But yeah, a little gritty. So if you don't like that, it does have a little bit of grittiness to it. And lastly, we have the liquid lipstick in Bliss. Has that typical satin lip scent from Unearthly. That is a really pretty kind of neutral brown. I feel like it pulls quite neutral. It's not like super warm in undertone, but it's also not going towards like purplish or, or really grayish. I actually really like this one. This formula is just very comfortable. It feels really good. I, yeah, this is a great shade. I kind of want to apply a little bit of that shimmery lip gloss on top just to see what happens, just to see how it looks. Just a little in the center, maybe. I really like that. I actually really like that. That is a cute combo, if you ask me. All right, I actually am really into this look, but some things I'm a little bit more of a fan of than others. I don't feel like this 
whole entire collection maybe was for me is for me i mean i have it okay the eyeshadow palette top top notch beautiful love it really nice it's just a beautiful eyeshadow palette i really really like it great color story i can see myself using that a lot by the way always when i use the satin lipstick at like the first five minutes i feel kind of like almost a tingling sensation almost like it's supposed to be plumping or something but i've never heard anybody talk about it but it's just tingling i don't know maybe i i don't do well with the ingredients maybe i'm allergic brushes um i have to try them out a little bit more they did work but they are a little on the synthetic side the eyeliners it's very liquidy it's very impactful i am not like i'm not someone who's super experienced with eyeliner but i feel like i could like add a little bit of a fun pop to the look so that is cute the lip products i have to say the lip oil is a little bit of an odd color but it is comfortable i can see myself wearing that maybe the gloss didn't have to be a very similar shade but all in all like the quality of this lip product is really nice it's just a question if you like the colors if you would use them if you can find like a purpose for them and then we have the blush i have to say i feel like it looks a little dirty it feels it looks to me just a little Mm, uneven like it really sinks into the pores it's a, it has a little bit of a weirdish grayish undertone to it. it it pulls a little weird on my face i don't think that this is gonna be a favorite for me um i'm gonna try it with different like i'm gonna try it in different ways but i'm not even wearing a foundation under so that should usually be a little bit more easy but i didn't feel like this was super easy to use all right then this is gonna be everything for today's video at the point that i'm filming this the second pre-order is open you can buy this for like 145 dollars or something i would say really like take a look would you use everything is everything really like up your alley something that you would be really excited about and then i'm gonna thank you for watching like the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and then i'll see you in my next one bye bye